Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show that asks the question... How's the knee? Thank you, Sarah. It's healing nicely. And just in time for an all-out battle of the badasses, as today it's Sarah Connor from the Terminator franchise versus Ellen Ripley from the Alien film. Linda Hamilton is reprising her most famous role in the new movie Terminator Dark Fate, and we've all been begging for Sigourney Weaver to come back for another Alien flick. Asterisk, as long as the films are good. Please be good. It's too late. You can't stop it. Here's how we'll determine a winner. Round number one, box office. Round number two, tomato meter. Round three, toughest opponent. And then we'll have a wild card to help me declare a winner. Sarah versus Ellen. Terminators versus aliens. The future versus outer space. There can be only one. That's from uh, Highland. I don't understand this. Round one, box office. Seeing as how everyone and their grandma knows what a Terminator is and what a Xenomorph looks like, it's safe to say both Sarah Connor and Ellen Ripley have had tons of box office success. And keep in mind, this is a brawl between their characters. So whether it was Linda Hamilton or Amelia Clark playing Sarah, all of their movies count. Which is not necessarily good news for Team Terminator. Are you kidding me? The Alien movies, much like the Bee Gees, have been crushing it since the late 70s. 1979 was the first time Ellen Ripley aided us in staying alive against them pesky face huggers, and since then the films have gone on to gross an adjusted $1.26 billion at the worldwide box office. Each of the first three Alien films grossed over $300 million, and 1996's Alien Resurrection added in $228 million, plus a basketball hoop. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Terminator franchise was born in 1984 and James Cameron's baby has spawned four sequels and a TV show. However, Sarah Connor has only appeared on screen in Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and Terminator Genesis. Remember kids, spelling stuff wrong is cool and futuristic. And yes, I'm aware Sarah did the voiceover for Terminator Salvation, but that doesn't count. One time I did voiceover for a beer commercial, but you don't see me drinking it. Drink. So it's three Terminator films versus the four Alien films. And guess what? The shorthanded team comes out on top. Sarah Connor's flicks have grossed $1.5 billion worldwide against Ripley's $1.26 billion. The Terminator movies got a monstrous boost from Arnold Schwarzenegger at the peak of his movie star powers in 1991's T2. That movie raked in $885 million all by itself. And it was the first R-rated movie I saw in theaters. I was not old enough. Thanks, Carmike Cinemas. No problemo. Although the cumulative box office total of the Alien films is higher than the Terminators, the machines crush the aliens worldwide. And when you think about it, a machine uprising is going to be what I'd classify as a total Earth problem. So I'm giving Sarah Connor the win in round number one. In an insane world, it was the sanest choice. Round two, Tomato Meter. We're only humans, so of course we'll fork over our hard-earned Bitcoin to see robots and outer space creatures, but between Sarah and Ellen, whose movies are, you know, good? They both have their critical darlings, as evidenced by Terminator's perfect 100% rating and Aliens is 99%. The first Alien film is 97% and T2 is 93%? Who didn't like Judgment Day? So our fearless ladies have a lot to celebrate, but don't crack that champagne open just yet. You both made some stinkers as well. Alien 3 is the low point of the franchise at 42%, and Resurrection is just rotten at 56%. And Terminator Genesis is ruining Sarah's good name at 27%. 27, I hear Genesis is 27%, and I say, well then neither Peter Gabriel nor Phil Collins were in the band at that point. Off topic, but accurate. Do 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 do. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. And how about this? Ellen Ripley was a formidable force back in 1979, so much so that Sigourney Weaver was nominated for an Academy Award for her performance for that movie to help spawn so much filmmaking creativity at a time when we didn't have a ton of female badasses at the multiplex. That makes the scores for Alien and Aliens that much more impressive. So much so that I'm giving Ellen Ripley the win in round number two, despite Alien 3. People love to say, oh, go back and watch Alien 3. David Fincher directed it. It's ahead of its time. I've watched it again. It's 90 minutes of boredom and 20 minutes of closing garage doors on aliens. No thanks. 
I'm moving on. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? Round three, toughest opponent. Okay, look, both characters have plenty of badass cachet to go around. They've outdone their muscly jock male counterparts, shown bravery in the face of adversity, and used their motherly instincts to help save us all. But who had the toughest opponent? Let's go to the game film. Ellen Ripley fights aliens. She didn't sign up for that job, it just landed in her lap. In the first alien, she had to deal with one alien. In aliens, she had a whole school of them. In Alien 3, she had to grapple with a very handsy queen alien, and in Alien Resurrection, she had to battle a horrendous script. But these aliens we're talking about, they're not E.T. He was just a botanist. He was a spy. And the Xenomorphs aren't easily defeated like the Signs aliens. Smart Water kills them. Hey everyone, quick! To Jennifer Aniston's house! No, Xenomorphs are athletic, strong, and they open one mouth, and then another mouth comes out. Oh, and they have acid for blood. No wonder the Predators make such a big deal out of it when they kill one. Sarah Connor has a much different kind of foe. It's a machine. Sure, the machine's helped us for a while, but someday your iPhone is going to wake up and realize that you never once contributed to Waze finding better traffic routes. Chill out, dickwad. So Terminators get sent from the future. These are killer robots with a human-like exoskeleton. You have your T-800, that's for your basic terminating. Then you got the T-1000 if you like luxury features like liquid metal and walking through bars. And this baby over here, this is the T-5000 from Terminator Sega Genesis. Now most of you had fallen asleep by the time that one showed up, but it's the most lethal killing machine of the bunch. We owe both characters a huge debt of gratitude for saving us from these impending threats, but upon closer inspection, Sarah Connor did have some help, most notably from Arnold in T2 and Arnold plus Jai Courtney in Genesis. Come with me if you want to live. And in the first Terminator, she went against Arnold with the assistance of Michael Bean. Let's hear it for Michael Bean! Sarah totally held her own in each and every fight, and she also had to use her wits and toughness to escape from a mental institution. But Ellen Ripley not only had to battle multiple species of deadly aliens, she also had different crews of macho dudes doubting her at every turn. She had precious few allies. Shout out to Hicks and Hudson. Game over, man! That's just fucking great, man! And at the end of Alien 3, when some government boys wanted to get their grubby hands on the alien inside of her body, Ripley was brave and wise enough to make the ultimate sacrifice. She tossed herself into a pit of fire, thus mercifully ending that movie. Sarah had to duke it out with machines from the future, however she also had humans from the future led by her kid fighting alongside her. Ripley repeatedly saved the day in a faraway galaxy against the odds, and for that, she wins round three. Ellen goes up on Sarah, two to one. Not bad for a human. Round four, who saved Earth? When it's all said and done, there's only one reason above all others that we love Sarah Connor and Ellen Ripley. They saved us. They saved all of us. Name me another person that has been more crucial to the preservation of human life than Sarah and Ellen. Hugh Jackman? He's merely a song and dance man. You run with me and I can cut you free. John Legend? That EGOT won't stop an alien invasion. Robocop? He, um, did he? Didn't, he didn't save the, Detroit. He, he barely saved Detroit. He can't even get the Lions to the playoffs. When it comes to saving Earth, Ripley stepped up. On multiple occasions, she stopped circumstances that would have eventually led to aliens opening shop right here on our beloved planet. Doesn't matter if she had to outthink them, outshoot them, or sacrifice herself, Ellen always answered the bell. Sarah Connor, however, she literally gave us a chance at tomorrow. The machines were going to wage war and possibly win, and at the very least, they would have initiated the nuclear holocaust known as Judgment Day. But Sarah believed in her cause even when everyone else said she was cray-cray. It's the opinion of the 9th District Court of Mark that humans could possibly rally and fend off the Xenomorphs if they ever made it to Earth. But us? Against our own future? Only one person could have the toughness, foresight, and compassion to bail us out. Sarah Connor wins the round, and we're all tied up at two. So don't fuck with me! So now it falls on me to break the tie and declare one of our competitors the greatest female badass in cinema history. And my answer is, drum roll please, fun sidebar. These two franchises can't possibly be linked, right? Uprox did a fun vid that supposes Dutch from Predator was the basis for the T-800. And Predators fight aliens, we actually have a whole series of those movies that you can try to enjoy. So we could have Alien versus Terminator. It could happen. 
And fun fact, Lance Henriksen, Bill Paxton, and Mr. Bean are all featured in both movies. I said Mr. Bean. I meant Michael Bean. But shout out to Mr. Bean. Sarah Connor scores major points for helping save our future and stopping the more imminent threat to our planet, Terminators. But Ellen Ripley had to go to the far reaches of space to face an entire flock of incomprehensibly twisted miracles of evolution. And no one can even hear her scream. It's heroic to fight baddies from the comfort of your own planet. It's next level to play an away game and do it behind enemy lines. Ellen has the most frequent flyer miles and she wins my tiebreaker. Congrats to Ripley. Say hi to Newt for me. Or don't, I was never that big a fan of her or children in general. It's game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? You think you're so creative. That's just my opinion, dear interweb. Now it's your turn to vote and tell us who is the most badass in your eyes. Is it Sarah Connor or is it Ellen Ripley? To cast your ballot, simply comment below with your take and defend your answer like the future of humanity depends on it. Thanks for watching today, and remember, whether you watch us on a desktop, a laptop, or a smartphone, hug your device, tell it you love it, and we'll do its bidding once Skynet goes online. I'm Mark Ellis. Now get away from her, you bitch!